What is good everybody today? We are back with a 2 in 1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 113 CM Punk and Tiffany Stratton figures. Now I've had this Tiffany Stratton for almost a month because it came in before the rest of Elite 113 and Elite 113 was so late that we reviewed all of Elite 114 before it even arrived at my door. Another thing is Trick Williams is not shipping with this wave so I don't know what happened with Elite 113. Lots of different things. Tiffany shipped first, rest of the wave shipped after and then Trick came after that so I don't know what's going on there. But today I'm very excited to get into this. This is our first main Elite Line Punk back ever since he returned. We, of course, already have the Defining Moments figure that we got earlier this year, the Ringside Exclusive. We're going to compare that to this figure today. But this should be fun, man. We got two fun figures here. I don't know how excited I am about Tiffany Stratton. I would be, but we'll get into all that, man. But here are the figures. Front viewing window looking pretty good. Got the Macho Man gear. A figure and Elite that I think people have been wanting for a very long time. We finally have CM Punk. You got a shot of him on the back right there. Rest of the bio figures in the wave there tomorrow. We will do Carl. Lido and Kofi, and we'll get that knocked out there, man. But the Tiffany Stratton figure, man. Tiffany Stratton, man. Lord in heaven, this figure. They let her down, man. Her basic head sculpt is much better. We're going to get into it as we break it down, but there it is. Gear looking pretty nice. Got a nice shot of Tiffany on the side and the back of the packaging there. And we, of course, are going to unbox these figures, man. If you want to grab these figures already, you already like what you see. You don't need to see any more today. You can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But we're going to crack these two out of the packaging. Find out what they're all about and see if they're indeed worth a damn before we get into it. So let's do so. All right, so here's Elite 113 CM Punk and Tiffany Stratton out of the packaging going around like they do here, man. And I like these figures in their own way, of course. Not perfect by any stretch. We're going to dive into everything I like, everything I dislike, give you the rundown, give you some comparisons, and find out how good these figures truly are at the end of the day, man. But what we're going to do is take a closer look at Punk's accessories and CM Punk, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Tiffany Stratton's accessories and the Tiffany Stratton figure itself. All right, man, for CM Punk's accessories, you get a decent amount here for an Elite in the main Elite line. You get some cloth goods, interchangeable hands, a little armband action. And this t-shirt is very high quality. You got a Nexus CM Punk t-shirt right here, which is very fire. We've actually seen this before from Mattel on the Elite 11 CM Punk, which was not as high quality. It was that old t-shirt material where it felt like it was cut out of a damn thrift store t-shirt, man. And I love thrift store t-shirts, all right? I'll go thrifting all damn day of the week, but that shirt would fall the hell apart immediately, man. I mean, it was pretty damn bad. I ain't gonna lie to you there, but this is high quality. Good stuff here. Do have the Velcro on the back all those different things, but CM Punk is looking very damn good right here. I like this shirt. So you get a Nexus t-shirt and you get a Nexus armband. So we have seen this before as well with many people, different armbands, different sizes, all the different stuff, but we do have a Nexus armband, which is high quality. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get mic holding hands with the white hand tape, white pegs, black X's, no drug-free tattoos on the hands though, big miss. And then you also get the fisted hand tape, which you do get the black X's, white pegs, white tape, but no drug-free hand tattoos, man. All right, man, getting into CM Punk, this is the Elite. Elite 16 head skull, but you will notice that his hair is brown. It's a brown hair. He has brown hair and facial hair, and I don't think that's accurate. It definitely needs to be darker, but he also doesn't have the tattoos on the back of the ears. I don't know if that's accurate. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. I want to say he is missing that, but yeah, I mean, the head skull, it's not a bad head sculpt. It looks like CM Punk. I just wish the hair was darker. You could easily hit it with some black paint or something, but not something that you'd like to do, but then he does have the Daniel Bryan style torso, which is a guy that I'll let it pass, you know? In a perfect world, we have the Bo Dallas torso? Yes, we would, but we'll leave it. It's, you know, it's always been that way. It doesn't look bad or anything, so we'll take it, but he has all of his tattoos. Nexus armband on there, white elbow pad, of course, white wrist tape, black X's, and then we do have the Macho Man trunks. That looks so good. You have the three white stars, and you do have the CM Punk on the back, which is very nice. A gear that everybody has wanted for years upon years, man, and all the tattoos look really, really good. Wish they could have mocked up some sort of Pepsi logo and Cobra logo, but they, they did not do that. They didn't take the Jazzwares approach, which is fine. Straight edge on the belly right there. Then we do have the decent sized thighs, large knee pads that I hate so much. And then we have the white and yellow kick pads that he did rock with the black feet. And these look pretty good as well. But this figure, man, I, I'm very glad that we got this figure in, a, you know, in Mattel WWE Elite form. We've been waiting forever. I know we got it in basic form, but this is nice. Now, in terms of your posability, he can kick four pretty good there. This leg has a little bit of that issue, but I have finally got it up there. It's because he has the pine cone joints, but you'll be happy to report that he is not pinless. He has 
pin leg, so it's almost like, I mean, it pretty much feels like a CM Punk Elite from Mattel. If you own any CM Punks, it feels like that, but with double jointed arms, which I know a lot of people are going to be excited about. So, you know, he has all the all the bells and whistles, kick pad rotation. It's It feels exactly like a CM Punk from back in the day. It just has double jointed arms. I mean, that's essentially what this is here, but let's get into some figure comparisons here. And for your CM Punk figure comparisons, here is a bunch of different punks. We have the Elite 20, the Elite 11, which has that god-awful shirt I was talking about. Kind of fit, I don't know, kind of baggy there, but low-key kind of like it now that I talked all that shish, and now look at me. Then we have the Defining Moments figure, and then we have the Elite 16, and you'll see there that the brown hair and beard is not the same as the black. This one had the correct one. These head sculpts look like Colin Farrell, as I mean, but he kind of looks like Colin Farrell, to be fair. To be fair. But I still like this figure a lot. I like how it looks up next to the rest of the punks. It's just so surreal to get these punks, and these are all official, and I hopefully we'll see. You know, we do have the Ultimate Edition punk coming later that's based on Money in the Bank. Maybe we'll get an Elite 11 re-release. I would love to see that. I'd love to see some different Money in the Bank punks, you know, where he won the Money in the Bank, when he cashed in, some long-haired CM punks. I'm sure they're all coming in 2025. I guarantee we're going to see a ton of punks coming out, and we'll do all the comparisons here, but I am very excited to finally have this punk in the collection here from Mattel. And then we have Tiffany Stratton's accessories, and she really doesn't get a lot, man. You get some interchangeable hands and some hats. Some hats. That is legitimately one single hat, you jackass. But we do have the nice hat here, which is a nice silver color, kind of, uh, it's got some little, I don't know, real, it's got some fine sculpting on there, like these little divots and lines in it. And it fits the figure okay, it's not a perfect fit or anything, but it fits the figure solid for a hat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can flip it either way. Okay, yeah, it goes on there pretty good, you know, it fits solid and everything like that. This looks pretty accurate to the hat I did see, so I think that looks good. Got some nice sculpting on it, but outside of that, that's about it. Because after that, all you get is mic holding hands with no fingernail polish. And then you get the Carmella hands from like Elite 86 or whatever that was from the SummerSlam wave. And those are those same wide open style, entrance slapping style hands. And all right, man, we're getting into Tiffany Stratton's head sculpt. And even if you cover up one side of the face, I personally do not see Tiffany Stratton in this head sculpt. I don't know about you guys, but you can let me know down in the comment section. I do not think if you cover up this side, it just doesn't look like her, man. It just looks like a generic blonde. It kind of looks like Carmella a little bit. I just do not see Tiffany Stratton whatsoever. Big miss on the head sculpt. Maybe somebody could repaint it. I don't think I'm going to do that. I can't repaint eyes, man. I can. I feel like I can paint decently, but I cannot paint faces and eyes. Or I could paint faces. I cannot paint eyes. It's just not something that I'm good at. But the hair looks really good. Good hair sculpt. And the gear is so damn good, man, with the white, pink, pink and silver. I love this attire. I, lo I love the colors. Two of my favorite colors. You have white and pink in there, which looks good. Bicep band over there. The white wrist tape. You have stars all over. Great colorations and great stuff going. I mean, dude, this is a great figure. You have these great knee pads going on here. Hinders the articulation a little bit, which we'll get into. But then she has the fire white boots. I mean, dude, they had an opportunity here. And they really squandered it, man. I mean, they had such a great opportunity right here to make a fantastic Tiffany Stratton figure. And they low-key blew it. But she can kick forward pretty decent. It's pretty much comparable to all your other women's articulation. And the knee joint doesn't feel super tight, even though it is pinless. She gets boot rotation, ankle rocker, diaphragm goes around. You do get waist swivel. She doesn't have that Elite 94 Stephanie McMahon shoulder syndrome, so that's good. Get the bicep rotation. You get the double jointed arm, and then the head articulation. You know how that is. It's just not the greatest. Uh, maybe one day we'll get a ball hinge, and we'll be able to do some different poses there, but this figure, oh man. Love the gear, man. Love the gear. Like the sculpts. I mean, from the neck down, I think this figure is pretty good. The only thing about this figure that I don't like also is besides the likeness, I think that they could have given her a bigger build, man. Felt like they made her a bit skinny. You know, you compare it to Rhea Ripley, man. You know, Tiffany Stratton, I guess in height, good lord. Is she, t is she is she taller than Rhea Ripley? Is that real? I still feel like they could have given her bigger shoulders or arms because Tiffany Stratton's pretty jacked, to be honest with you. She's got bigger thighs and stuff like that, man. Pretty jacked individual, but I don't know. Is she that much taller? Is she bigger than Rhea like that, man? I don't know if that's accurate right there. I don't know if that's accurate. Let me see if I can find the basic figure, too. So here is the basic figure, and I feel like this is a lot more accurate in height, but this figure just looks better, man. This head sculpt. I want to put this head sculpt over here. Maybe we'll save that for surgery or something like that on Action Figure Surgery Episode 100 because I think with this head sculpt, this figure could be really damn good, but this head sculpt, dude, these, like, this one looks much more like her, even though this head sculpt's not, you know, a grand slam. It's still head and shoulders above this one. This one right here, man, it's just a big wolf. Look how massive 
of it is, it's just not good, man. Big missed opportunity here for Tiffany Stratton. But I think that about wraps up our 2-1 WWE Elite 113 review of CM Punk and Tiffany Stratton, man. I really, really, let's just start things off. Let's start things off with CM Punk. It's a really good execution. Yes, the hair should be darker. Yes, he's missing hand tattoos. But at the end of the day, this is a CM Punk figure that we've been wanting for years and years, man. I mean, this, the pipe bomb, they're going to make them all. But these were two that we really wanted, and they've already pumped them out. We have his return figure coming very soon as well from Mattel Creations. This is just a really good execution. I think that it's a slam dunk punk figure that you should get. You should get it. It's a great attire, great everything, man. The only thing I don't like is really, I mean, the things we touched on, right? I think the hair's too light, the tattoos on the hands missing, and then the large knee pads. Gonna have to replace these large knee pads. I can't stand them. You guys know protocol around here. Cannot stand them, but I do like the figure overall. I think it's a very solid addition and piece. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with the CM Punk figure. It's a great thing. Go pick it up. As far as Tiffany Stratton, man, everything from the neck down is pretty damn good. I will say, I think they should go back to the drawing board on not only her head sculpt, but her formula. I think that, you know, Tiffany Stratton's pretty muscular. She's kind of similar to Rhea Ripley, not maybe quite as muscular as Rhea Ripley, but she's very muscular, man, and I think they need to replicate that in figure form. That being said, I love the attire. The attire is very nice. Head sculpt missed the mark completely. I think the hair sculpt is good. Like, it's very, you know, nice and toyetic, but the face sculpt completely missed the mark. It looks derpy. Doesn't look very good. Doesn't hold any likeness, in my opinion, to Tiffany Stratton, and they did her dirty with this one. But I like the figure from the neck down. Again, very poseable, very fun to pose around with, and a solid figure. Just that head sculpt, man. That head sculpt takes you out of it completely and kind of ruins what could have been a contender for female figure of the year. Now that is all doom and gloom because of the head sculpt, which you gotta nail, man. You gotta nail the head sculpts. You gotta get the head sculpt down. I argue it's the most important part of an action figure. So especially when you get into real people and stuff like that, because these are real people that we can actually look at. And if they don't look like their figure, well, Brad, you're you're kind of messing up your game there. But at the end of the day, if you guys want to grab these figures, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Of course, I greatly appreciate that. But that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. Do you think the Tiffany Stratton head is busted? Do you think the CM Punk return to the main line is good? Let me know all those things, man. But a huge shout out to our Patreon members as well. Thank you guys so very much for your support as always. You guys are unbelievable, but I'm getting the hell out. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.